Hello, welcome, and thank you for checking into the Film Stop. My name is Jake, and today we're going to be talking about Aperture. Now, if you haven't been watching our videos, uh, we've been talking about our exposure and how exposure determines a good picture. Now, uh, I've been talking about exposure in my previous video, so if you haven't looked at that, go ahead and click here. Uh, but now we're going to go directly and talk about Aperture. So what is Aperture? Aperture refers to the opening or the hole that are in, the, in our lenses that allows light into our camera. Now for different, ca different lenses um, have different uh, apertures. For example, my Nikon D5300, which you still have, um, came with a basic lens of uh, widest aperture of 3.5 millimeters. Sorry, 3.5 f-stop. Aperture is usually measured with f-stops. Now, depending on uh, what kind of photographer or filmmaker you are, um, different f-stops will serve you differently. You will find f-stops that go up to 2.8 and f-stops that go up to even 1.4. Now, f-stops usually matter in, uh, depending on the kind of project you are and the kind of lighting scenarios you have. Now, lenses with the really, really low f-stops uh, will work better for you in really low light scenarios. Um, if you're filming or if you're taking photos. Now, um, looking at my 50 millimeter lens, this one has a widest aperture of about 1.8 f-stop, as opposed to my basic lens, which has a, a limit of 3.5 f-stops. Now, if I was going to use uh, any of these lenses, I'd probably want to go with my uh, 1.8 f-stop because I know I have um, a, a wider room for taking photos with better exposure because I'd be allowing more light into my camera. Now, aperture doesn't affect light only. Aperture will also affect your depth of field. So what is depth of field? Depth of field refers to how clearer and uh, sharp images in your picture will actually look. Now, uh, a, a, a camera or a lens with a wide aperture will give you a very shallow depth of field, meaning that objects or people closest to the camera will be more clearer or be, uh, will appear more sharp than objects farthest for the, from the camera. Now, if you wanna take uh, landscape photography, you probably want to stick with a tighter f-stop, uh, probably f11 and above. Um, that will give you um, clearer image um, and it will give you a wider depth of field. Now, if you're looking at uh, differences in depth of field, there are photos that I took with my Nikon D53 with my 35 millimeter lens. Um, here you will see a picture that I took with uh, f-stop at two and an f-stop at eight. Now you'll see the picture at t with an f-stop of two has a shallower depth of field as opposed to the f-stop at eight where you can see um, the background a little more clearly. Now that is how uh, aperture will affect uh, both your light and the quality of your image. Next, we're going to be looking at our shutter speed. 